Hello, good morning. I've just realised I've not put um, YouTube on. Bear with two seconds. I knew there was something else I had to do. <laughs> I know I have one day off and I forget what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, good morning. It's Wednesday. Um, I'm going to be doing a bit of a mishmash today. There we go. I'm back now. Um, a bit of a mishmash. I am going to use our gorgeous monthly make mushrooms but I'm going to turn them Christmassy um, using some of our snowflakes and I'm going to concentrate on masking. So that is my plan, that's what I want to do. Um, I've changed my mind three or four times this morning on what I'm doing so I think that's what I'm stuck with, uh, I'm going to stick with, not stuck with, stick with. Um, something very elegant, very simple, some masking um, and just have a, a, a good paint. So that's my plan. So I'm going to get going. Let me see if I can find the right, that's the one, the right button. So I have got, oops, I'm rolling over something. A little lady was doing some um, homework in here over the weekend and well, my desk was bright red. So I've got a seven inch card cut down. So this is six and a half because I've got a mat for it. I've got some scrap paper for my um, masking and we're going to use our gorgeous mash uh, mushrooms mushrooms and I've gone for seven inch because I actually want it quite big I'm thinking my mushrooms down here elegantly painted with some snowflakes added morning Lynn and um, and then we'll just have a sentiment in the top so you can tell I'm going super super simple I've got a dirty inky pinky mark on that piece and I've got red ink on the back so I'm going to turn it around and hopefully if I put it down in that bit there no bloody you'll notice so I'm going to stamp my mushrooms first I think and then we need to get masking so I'm going to stamp my mushrooms and then onto my um, scrap paper I'm going to stamp them three more times because I've got three different mushroom heads that I want to cut out so that's where we're going to start I need some black ink oh I've just found a big pile of blue she must have used blue ink as well I do love it when she's been crafting. I'm only jealous because I've not got to craft this weekend. I've been a little bit busy. But that's okay. I'm getting my crafting fix now. That's the important bit, isn't it? Right, so I think that looked really, really well. Make sure I put my lid back on. I'm going to pop this in here. It's going to go down in this bottom corner. I know I'm using the big ones again. I really need to use the little ones at some point. I suppose I could do this design smaller. Well, if it works. <laughs> That's the main thing, isn't it? Is it? If it works. I was giving that a really good stamp. There we go. And I'm going to move that to one side. I will dry it in a minute, but I'm also just going to stamp it right in the middle of my scrap paper. So there's number one. I'm going to ink it up again, only so I can see where I need to cut out. And then, come on. Thank you. More fingers and thumbs. And you'll notice I'm stamping it right in the middle because I'm going to cut the little bits out because I want to turn these into festive, into festive fungus. There's two. And there's number three. So I'm done with that mushroom now. That sounded rude, didn't I? I'm done with that. Oh, yeah. There we go. And I'm just going to grab my heat gun. And I need to make sure this is really dry because we are going to I'm gonna do some more painting in a minute. And I'm actually going to do this the opposite way around. Normally, 
I'd do all masking and things first and then go in and paint but because I know I'm going to use my brush out and it's going to get quite watery and adding more ink is just going to mean it's got that potential to bleed and I don't want that so I'm going to do my painting make sure it's nice and dry and then I'm going to come back in with me um, masking I know it seems back to front doesn't it So I am, I'm just making sure it is really, really dry. Sometimes I'll let it slide a little, other times, you know. Okay, just make sure it's really dry. My heat gun's warming up my hands a little because it's a little bit nippy this morning. Right, so I've got my gorgeous little mushrooms there, and I think I might even change my mind now. I think I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to do them blue. I know, I'm going for Christmas, festive fungi, and all that, and I'm going to go for blue. So, do, do, do. I want, I did say I've changed my mind on this. I'm going to grab tumble glass and I want where's my broken china and you can find my festive uh, not my festive jeans they must be the ones I have to wear after my Christmas dinner my faded jeans and what I do I want broken china and I've got a bit of weathered wood for my background I'm thinking as well. Come on, find my broken china. Oh, I've not turned my phone onto silent again. How rude! Morning, Maxine. <laughs> but it did remind me I had a comment then. Okay, I will turn it off in one second when I finish finding my inks. I'm gonna have to go with a different colour because I can't find. Stormy sky. It's always the way into the one you really want. The one colour I was set on. I didn't want. I can't find. Oops. One last search. If not, we'll have to go with peeled paint. I think. A bit of shabby shutters for our stalks. Or am I might. Mm, no shabby shutters. I want that little. I want. For my stalks, I want a hint of green, but not too much green, if that makes sense, because I want it to be quite blue. There we go. Let's have a bit of lost shadow as well, because we might use that for our stalks instead. There it is, and that one, right, there we go. I think I've got more than enough blues out on my table now. So, I am thinking, we might have to do a bit of play with our colours here. So let's move you over there to begin with. Let's just discard it for a second. I'm thinking I definitely want faded jeans, want a bit of salty ocean, and they're going to be my three mushroom heads, sorted. We're cooking on gas now, aren't we? And the question is, I'm thinking background still. Stalks, do you want shabby shutters, lost shadow? I'm, I'm, I am thinking lost shadow. But let's just have a look, shall we? Sorry, broken china. After all that, I'm going to put you back. So let's try our shabby shutters. Ooh, I'm molten again. And our lost shadow for our stalks. I think it's going to have to be shabby shutters because otherwise it could just look a bit too. Ooh. 
Oh, I've just found a load of red ink from Little Miss. Ooh, that doesn't really show much at all, does it? So I think that answers the question. I think we're going to go with shabby shutters. Because I don't think that... Um, Unless we do a combo, might do a combo because I do want that little hint of green. Right, okay, we're going to use. Can you see that lost shadow? Just isn't it? I know it's hard to look, isn't it, when it's got lines on paper. That lost shadow is just a bit well pale. So we'll see. I think we'll go with both at the moment. I'm just being indecisive today. So let's grab this back. I know I've also got red on my desk, but I'm not touching it. I'm just going to leave it for the moment. I'm going to bring a bit more of this green down, I think. Moment of truth. We're just going to start painting like we would normally. I've not got done a ground colour either. I think having that lost shadow in there has just taken the edge off our shabby shutters. And what looks like a bit of Alzerian crimsons mixed into the mix as well, which it wasn't meant to. <laughs> just sometimes you have to go with what's on your desk, don't you? Right, we're going to pick some up for these bits. I forgot my little, um, I think it was Lynn that told me they were called gills. And this is one of them that I've got a picture in my head of what I think it's going to look like, or I want it to look like. So we'll see. I do wish sometimes I could share what's what the idea is in my brain before I, I do. There we go, right, I'm, I am going to pick up some of this deeper shabby shutters. Just adding it in round my gills. I didn't turn that off. Oops. There we go. Off now. Oh. I don't even know why it was on, to be fair. I am naughty. I do leave it on silent a lot of the time. Right. We've got our gills done we've got our mushrooms done i'm going to add a little bit of this to the bottom only because i am going to go back over with another color and my inky pinky is really bothering me that well it's not an inky pinky it's a dirty pinky mark down here morning rachel so we're just gonna go like that a little bit but we will come back over that in a minute because like i say I want this to be more blue, bluey grey, our festive fungus. I'm just going to um, just wipe up this little bit of a mess right here. There you go. I can't tell you the amount of times I've cleaned my desk this morning, and obviously it's still there. Morning, Mum. There we go, right. So now we're going to start with our, our colours. I'm thinking he wants to be our faded jeans. So it don't really matter on the other two, does it? So I'm going to go for the little one with our tumble glass. And actually now I'm using oxides. It's a really good um, job 
that I decided to do my masking and my extra bits and bobs afterwards. Because if we'd have done our masking first, I'd have had to have been careful going round all my snowflakes and things we're going to add to these little fellas. Um, so doing it this way, it's not a problem. Very, very pale this one. And we might even cheat and use the Distress Oxide to do it with. Depends how they look. But you can see I'm just going on like I did with the brush the other day, just adding it, my colour on. I need a piece of kitchen roller. There we go, and we'll do the same with our other two. And even if we don't use our oxides to do our masking, we might use a blue. I think that'd look quite nice, wouldn't it? Ooh, I nearly threw my paintbrush on that blower. That'd be no good, would it? Right, yeah. And again, we're just going to come in and start really watering. Like that, and I'm just going to go from one side and start building up my colour. I'm just dragging it across a bit. They do they look a really little, little festive, festive fungi. Look even more when they've got their snowflakes on them. There we go, right, I'm I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to dry it actually because I can see I've, I've got it quite wet. Yep, and the paintbrush at the same time. with that big one shall we so I've got faded jeans for this one okay, that's not a lot but it's probably more than enough for what we need it for and if I thought this through I could have probably left my inks on my desk in case I wanted to do some splattering in a minute Again, just start adding my deeper colours. There we go. Super easy, isn't it?
There we go, right. Let me dry that again. And then I want to do my background and then we'll go back in any minute. So I'm going to use weathered wood because that's a really nice go between between your your blue and your greys and I think it'll work quite well. And then I am going to have to make a decision. Are we stamping in the same colours to our masking or am I going to go for a blue, a uh, first time blue, to get the nice crisp. Oh, decisions, decisions on a, I was going to say, a Sunday morning, on a Wednesday morning. I should know it's Wednesday, it's PE day. So there needs his PE kit on a Wednesday. Right. I think that should be okay. So I'm going to grab my weathered wood. But I'm also going to grab a bigger paintbrush as well. I've got quite a bit of my weathered wood. Oops. I went to grab a paintbrush with my hand. My ink still in my hand. I wondered why I couldn't pick it up. <laughs> so all I'm going to do now is I want this really really watery and then I'm just going to splat it so you know when we do our splatty painting we just kind of go blub 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 yep so I just want that really you can see how much water I've got going on up here yep loads and loads of water and I want it really really just Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Oh, I've got some red on my desk as well, so it's not just. I think I am going to pop a little bit of blue into this as well, because it might be a bit too too grey after all of that. All of that time I took choosing my colours. It might be a little bit too much. So you can see, I'm not I'm not doing anything really with this. I'm just splatting. Splatting the colour on, turning it round, keep splatting a little bit more. Just being careful. And obviously if you had distress inks you could do this with, your distress oxides because that's what I'm using, your brush out, anything. As long as you can water it down, your ink down, you could use your um, oxide sprays. Yeah, I don't know if a few of you have got them. And I do need a smaller brush, just go in these little gaps. It's looking a bit dark, isn't it? Don't like the dark. So we're going to lighten it up because it's not very festive that dark looking is it so let's just get rid of that and i'm going to grab another blue so i've got my broken china because it's definitely not looking like the picture i had in my head at the moment and again get it watered down That's more like it. I want that kind of, you know, greyish like sky when it's going to snow. There you go, that's working a bit better, isn't it? I don't know if you can quite see it online actually. Yeah, you can. If you notice with my paler blues, this paler blue, I am staying closer to my mushroom. So just like if we were doing some of our splatty painting. Oops, definitely don't want it that raw. 
and then I'm just going to pop a little bit in the ground as well. There we go, and I think I'm just going to do a little bit of splattering with that. I need to blow my nose as well. Right, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to dry that and then we'll do a little bit of splatting. I'm half toying up with maybe a few snowflakes in the background but a bit moody isn't it at the moment I've had festive fungi, moody mushrooms and you'll notice I'm purposely leaving this bit up here because I want my sentiment to go up there I've grabbed a handful of sentiments out I'm not sure which one yet to dry today for some reason. I'm loving this down the bottom though where we've got the three colours. Yeah. That's really cool, isn't it? It's like slushy snow. So let me just pick that up. Nope, not moving anywhere. Might need a little bit more paint to be fair. There we go, right. Ooh. There we go. I always do that, don't I? There we go, and I end up splatting it a bit more. Right, let's give that a quick dry again. I've still not done elegant, have I? I'll try. It's just too much fun to paint these little mushrooms. make the decision now am I stamping over the top with my faded jeans which will give it a bit of a distress look because you're not going to get a crisp stamp using your distress oxides or do I want a crisp stamp I'll use my verse finds all the decisions I'm thinking these guys yeah let's go with these shall we so I've got my three little masks that we did at the beginning. I felt like a bit of blue peterish then. Here's one I prepared earlier. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the little one again. So it's probably no smaller than the others. And I'm just going to take out what is in the middle. So I'm just going to cut round. The thing with having double lines, you have to just choose a line that you're cutting on and then go for it. I'm going to go on that line. There we go. Nearly. And obviously you could use your post-it notes or whatever you've got. I just grabbed some scrap paper as a Came through. 
and if you wanted to as well you could if you stuck a bit of washi tape on that onto your desk then did exactly the same with that one there we go <laughs> i was using those little extra lines there to line it up on so i'm going to leave that there i might washi tape it down do i want to is it going to stick no it should be all right and then i'm going to grab my little stars so oops i'm going to use the stars off me doodle flake my little one and then i've got the other two i think i'm going to go with that little one there we go and i've not left this in a very nice position for me to stamp but we'll figure it out The moment of truth, have I made the right decision or not? I'm going to pop that on there, I think. There we go. And if you notice, I cheated. I stamped it so that the legs of my snowflake I'll show you in a second. You see how we've got this line coming down? I cheated and just stamped it so it didn't come over that line if that makes sense there we go so i take that mask off now we've got a little festive fun guy he looks quite cute doesn't he so let's clean our tumble glass off we're going to do exactly the same for this one but this time I think I'm going to go for this slightly bigger one because I think that'll look quite nice just on the edge there I'm going to use this one and my salty ocean oh I've not cut my mask out that could have been a disaster, couldn't it? There we go, so I need to cut my next mask out. I'm going to pop that over there. So again, it's just about picking a line and sticking to it. Well, not in my case. <laughs> I actually only caught a tiny little bit out of this one. So we've got our stamp. I'm going to move this so it's slightly more comfortable for me to stamp. And then we're going to pop that on there. And that one like that. There we go. Okay. I'm not going to take my finger off this turn. I'm going to ink him up. Just remember if you're inking, taking your stamp to your ink on your oxide, do dip in middle. So you'll notice I'm really pressing on the centre. So we're going to come and pop in about there. And you can see why I didn't just use one mask, why I've used a different mask for each one. Because my little snowflake would be going on top of that one. There we go, I didn't press down very well on there. But there we've got number two. And let's get our final guy going. Dun, dun, dun. So this is our faded jeans, or our festive jeans as I said before. And I think, I think it's going to be too big that one, isn't it? Definitely. Oh, that could look quite funny then. 
no I'm going to stick with this one this time I need to do the mask thing so again pick your line and stick to it putting this everywhere today and there we go so we've got our final one done just need to figure out which line I cut there we go looks about right ish and we're going to ink up our little snowflake again. And I'm thinking I'm going to do it top down. I'm just going to press extra special, extra hard there where I've got all my edges of my paper. There we go. There we go, a little three little festive fungi they're so cute I always want to put little Santa hats on them I know I get carried away don't I right so I'm quite happy with our little bit of masking she says and then goes quiet so you know there's something else going on in my little brain can we give that a quick dry? What is going through my brain at the moment is do I want to add a little bit more colour? And I think the answer is yes I do. I am liking them, but I think I want them to stand out just a smidgen more. So I did, I thought I did. I can't find me, me um, silver gel pen, but I've got a blue one. And he's looking at me on my desk. So I've got two options. I can either go grab a paintbrush and move some of this ink around, or we, we had a little bit of sparkle. I think I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle to it. So that might be a bit too much for that one at the bottom. Let's see if I've got a pale blue. I haven't got a clue where my um, silver or my gold is. Now I do know I used them on a make and take not so long ago. So it could be near be in one of my bags. Let's just see how I like this one. Yeah. There we go. Right. I'm not going to do too much. Famous last words. I'm going to pop a little bit in the middle. And actually, it would have looked a lot better if I had silver. Add in those little bits in because I've got a silver map. I should I start conversations by in my head, don't I? And I don't finish them. Pop a few more dots around there. Again, we're just adding a few little bits and pieces. Oops, wrong bit. Yeah. 
There we go. What do we think? Look at that. I just need to be really careful now because every time I touch this now, it's, it's going to be wet for a while, isn't it? okay we can work with that i just wasn't happy you could tell couldn't you that i was just not quite happy with how it looks so we changed up a little bit Right, and then I'm going to use this slightly darker one. Oops! <laughs> Throwing my pens everywhere. It's not that much darker, but it's definitely different. Ooh. Nope, I didn't. That, that doodling nope step away we'd be here all day if i started doodling wouldn't we just gonna start doodling and i need to remember i've got wet ink underneath my finger there There we go. Let's just pop up a bit in there. See, they're looking cuter, aren't they? Looking more festive now. They've got a bit of sparkle on them. So, the last thing I need to do, I put them back in there so they won't get lost. The last thing I need to do is roll over here and grab some sayings I picked out before not sure some of them might be a bit big wishing you a magical day that could be quite nice oh i've got christmas vibes i've got you are the sparkle in my snowflake i did have these but they're a little bit big my peace and goodwill would have been better if i'd have done it like that yeah, so I should have really looked at me um, sentiments as I pulled them out. But that's the wrong shape. Wishing you a magical day looks quite cute, sat there. Or oh, you are the sn sparkling my snowflake. Kind of fits, doesn't it, with our little snowflake dude. And it had a small snowflake I could have used. Will teach me not to look at me sentiments. I'm liking that though. Mushrooms are my people, aren't they? They're cute. Let's put you guys back over there so I can get to some card. I don't know, oh, I do need a bigger piece than that. That piece is perfect. I wasn't going to matten layer, I wanted it nice and um, flat for posting, but actually. I think that deserves a bit of Ooh. I think as well right oh okay I've had another idea you can you hear it don't you it's like the penny dropping Ooh. what if I just don't know if it'll work so I'm going to stamp my sentiments so 
so it doesn't have to be a christmas one does it it could be a, a winter birthday this one wishing you a magical day There we go. Just move that to one side. I lost my little piece of acetate you was on. Pop you back on there for a minute. Because I have an idea. Let me grab that. Let me heat gun it first because otherwise we end up with inky pinkies, don't we? I think I've done all right at hiding that one we had before. Throwing everything around today. Just like that. And let me grab a little bit of grey. After that piece, I think. Don't want that bigger of a border, to be fair. There we go, because I'm hoping to bring all of that back down with me. So we've got our seven inch card, we've got a nice little silver mat, we've got our little shrooms like that, and then I was hoping if I put that like so, I could uh, swizz this round, just stamp that in that top corner, I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going with Salty Ocean, <laughs> I do like me Salty Ocean, let's make sure I ink him up properly. Get rid of that big inky pinky mark. I've come a long way to not have a super big inky pinky mark on here. So it needs to be right up in this top corner. Boom, just like that. Put that to one side. I do need to give that a quick wash. It looks completely out of balance at the moment, but it won't once we put a little saying back on just like that it's all moving because I've not stuck it down but you get the idea might even do it like that there we go no don't like it let's move the one there it is you know where this is going don't you we want a bit of a snowstorm happening. So we're just going to add another one in. Like so. Oops. Would help if I didn't drop my stamp. And I'm just going to do one more. Always look what you're stamping onto before you stamp. I've had that everywhere once. Huh? Right, so I'm hoping that looks a little bit better now. And to be fair, you know what? I'm just going to fill my corner in now. There we go. Shh. 
should have gone with the smaller stamp. I got carried away. Right, we are done this time. Let's try and line it up a little bit better. I know I've not got um, enough tape on the roll in front of me, which is why I'm not sticking it down today. There we go. Our little festive magical shrooms. And now look, that fits so much nicer. Oh, actually, we could do it nice and square now. That's better, isn't it? There we go. So if it's all squeeze squiff. I've just realised I've been working with my camera really, really squeeze squiff all day. It's a bit better. But there you go. So we used our multi-make mushrooms. The three M's there, wasn't it? And we used the little snowflake from Doodle Flakes and the small Doodle Flake stamp as well. And then I just grabbed one of the little sayings. But I've had great fun. I've, had, I've used loads of colours. So... If you want to know what colours I've used, we use shabby shutters down here. We've used lost shadow as well for the stalks. We've used weather wood for the background and broken china for the background. And then my three little mushrooms are tumbled glass, salty ocean, and faded jeans. There you go. And then just use a bit of doodle pen, but it really does make a difference, doesn't it? Just a little bit of sparkle. Woohoo! Check that out. How cool is that? Right, I do need to find some tape to stick all that down. There we go. I had fun doing that one. We've got our little bit of masking and our festive mushrooms. So, that is it from us today. Look at state that. Um, camera's off to an angle. Rachel says, lovely card missiles on saturday and no we are not going to be at the motorcycle museum on saturday something's come up which means we can't um go this weekend because unfortunately mr Rue is pretty vital and we do need him um and if he's not there it means we can't go so we, we can't be there this weekend um oh thank you maxine um so yeah i know you'll still have a fab time down at the motorcycle museum i am a bit gutted we're not going but hopefully we'll be back in february yeah february will be the next one scary isn't it 2024 Oof. um anyway that is it from me today back on monday and then next week i can't believe i'm going to say this next week we are starting our advent calendars how quickly has that come around it is just crazy so next friday we'll be sending out december's monthly make so if you want to sign up for that you've got until midnight on thursday i think it is um thursday we'll be kicking off our monthly make uh, not our monthly make our advent calendar so that's what I had to show you. So this is what I will be decorating for using our little stamps. Would have been better if I showed you on the other camera. Yeah. Um, I've just made a little journal like this. So a little four inch journal to stamp every day using our advent calendar stamps. So the question was, do we want to go through this on Thursday night at our launch or not? Do you want to know how to make one of these or not? That is the question. They are really simple. So let me know. Do you fancy crafting along and making your own little journal for our advent calendar or not? Um, <laughs> Maxine says yes, please. Okie dokie just for you we'll do it it is really simple but it's a lot of measuring and you know what i'm like with measuring so we will thursday night i'll send out um, a kit list of what you will need um and we will do this on thursday when we launch our advent calendar scary how fast this year has gone so monday we'll be back with our mushrooms We'll have two more weeks on our mushrooms thursday i can't remember what time it is it's on the little um sticker that came on the top of your monthly make i've got a feeling with it being thursday it'll be half past seven and um, because that's the earliest i can do but i will check i'll send out all the details and um, a kit list for that and what time it'll be i'm pretty sure it's half seven it, it's rookie lifeguarding so i won't get back till seven um so yeah that's Thursday next week. I will I will send out all the details for that. 
it's more the measurements maxine i know i hate the measurements but it does it all works it all works there in the end so that's it for me this morning i hope you enjoyed that i had loads of fun making our little festive mushrooms so cute um oh that's the point rachel i hadn't thought about the little one staying up oh sorry i don't think i can change it now because it's on the front of everyone's box oh i'm sorry but i can't do any other time i can't hmm we will see we'll see I, i'll double check but i'm pretty sure it will be half seven so i will double check that i will send out all the measurements and all the other gubbins that you will need to do your own little journal to craft along with your advent calendars that start next friday scary so take care stay safe and i will see you on monday for some more monthly make fun with our mushrooms thanks for watching bye for now